Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's head on over to Florum. See, first things first, I want to restock, uh, especially on catnip. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess I could use a little bit of some other stuff there. Good on cat feathers. I didn't use too much catnip, but I think we're good otherwise. We also had a whole bunch of those venture badges that I stole. So, yeah, why don't we just hold on to one of them? That ought to be good enough there. Let's see, I don't need to change my setup at all, because we're going to go straight into another boss fight, like we did over uh, Nisenberg there on the first trip there. But I would like to rest up, at least, before heading over there. For now, I'm still going to stick with Tiz as... A fencer, though I will want to work on Ranger for him after that. So that wasn't something that I did before. I didn't really think about multi-burst, but yeah, that could be useful. Slightly better. So yeah, we'll check that out. I still would go with with a black mage on the first playthrough, though. Pierce magic defense is just so good in this game. Has much more application. But, uh, yeah, we'll just head on over to, well, the capital of Florm. Florm itself. See what's going on over here. Looks like it's the only side quest they got going on here. Hmm. Oh, we got something else going on here? More food? Oh, well, yeah, that pretty much goes with the territory. Par for the course for you there. Oh. They have monkeys? Oh, really? How do you do flower chess? How does that even work? But I suppose it just works like ordinary chess? Maybe it's like three-dimensional chess. I don't know. I only played the 2D version. Oh, good for you. Well, yeah, I suppose you would be pretty good at that. Oh, what else you got around here? Oh, yeah, yeah. What did the monkey want from you? Don't answer that, viewers. Oh. Ha ha. Well, yeah, you're, you're already taken, evidently. <laughs> oh, you just said... Right. <laughs> oh, challenge you to what? Don't answer that, viewers. What's with the monkey? Oh, ha ha. I mean, they have to live somewhere. So it's not like we have a, a jungle around here or anything. Not anymore. Not anymore. Hmm? What about it? Okay, that was weird. Let's see, this leads to a different side quest that I don't want to initiate yet. But I would like to save. I believe I can just head upward to do the other one first. I mean, we're already in Florum, so we might as well. But I'll list the setup in the video description anyway, just in case. But yeah, this time, we don't need to go into a dungeon. We can just go right over here. Where'd the music go? Come on already. How long do you plan on following us, Peller? Again? <laughs> ha ha. If you knew, you could have just said, so, 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 so. That's smart. Something terrible. Oh, me, 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 me. Well, that was the idea. Me, me, me. Well, what about you? You seem to remember us too, so why the stalker act? He does? I considered abandoning this tack, but quietly fa 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 following you all seemed more considerate to me, 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 me. I can't tell if you're mocking me, or just plain missing something upstairs. Why not both? Alright. 
So you're wondering what to do about your grandfather's previously undiscovered song, The Grand Ship. Oh. Yeah. It's a song about those who live on the sea. A song about men's hearts and dreams, just like your grandfather wrote about in his last note. Yeah, we've already uh, heard that. Both versions of the song, unfortunately. But the diva of the battlefield, Praline Alamod, also has her eyes set on the song. So, is she gonna, like, pay you for the rights to the song, or what? She came to ask you if she could make a new arrangement of it for her own repertoire. Why not just make another song that you don't have to pay for? And Barbarossa, taking that as an affront to your grandfather and all true sailors, came to you to protest. Does that sound about right? We can't possibly let Praline get the rights to the song. Yes, precisely. However, there's just one more thing. Oh, another monkey wrench? Huh? What did I miss? Neither seems to Ray 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 remember that we've been through all this before. Uh, maybe it's just selective memory. Seriously? Ha <laughs> ha. Come on. You can tell us more at your studio. Well, it's not exactly his studio. In the end, it doesn't matter whether or not those two remember. We're gonna kick their ass either way! Right. It's still just a question of whether you want to give Praline the go-ahead or not. do 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 not I know it. Yeah. Hold it. Didn't you promise hmm? to knock off that whole singing while you talk thing? I don't remember. I... I did. You'll have to forgive me, 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 me. Me, me, me. <laughs> right. Uh, the issue at hand is the same. I must decide whether or not to approve Miss Alamode's arrangement. I don't think anyone in their right mind would do that. Whether they remember prior events or not should not matter. And yet... You've seen what kind of opposition you'll face from the losing side. Well, they're not gonna kill him. They'll just try to kill us. That I have. And you're not sure you have the guts to face them again, huh? Well, you're not the one who has to do that. That I do not. Not one bit. Why not give it to both of them? That sounds like a problem. You want her to go off somewhere to work on your music, right? The Witherwood, was it? Oh, do we need to go through all that over, over again? That it was. Well, you can cancel that trip. Now then, I think there should still be one left over from that festival. Here. One what? A microphone and oh. speakers. What's all that doing down here? Oh, hmm. That red creep had all kinds of hobbies. He wouldn't want to guess what he did to entertain himself down here. Don't answer that, viewers. And what are you going to use it for? Don't answer I'm that. I'm going to use this microphone to deliver my advice to Mr. Rockapeller here. Oh, okay. And when I do, I'm pretty sure someone is going to overhear it and show up in a rage. Well, that goes without saying. Then you beat them into submission with your manly strength, Idia. Exact. Hey, what do you mean manly? Well, you do have a really good strength stat. Praline is here in Florum, so she'll hear it for sure. But isn't Barbarossa off at sea somewhere? Like he hasn't sent one or two of his mates here to see what Peller decides. Well, he can't teleport around the world like we can. Or can he? Now, let's just get this straight. You're sure you want me to decide for you? Yeah, you're the one who's going to have to suffer the consequences. Most definitely. You know these two better than I do, Miss Idia. I gladly leave this mess in your hands. Thank you for stopping singing. I know that Praline has a veritable army of fans around the world. It would be an honor to see my grandfather's work reach all of them. Honor is not the word that I would have chosen. But I'm also most grateful for Barbarossa and the respect he has shown for my grandfather's last wishes. Yeah, sure. Given two compelling cases, it's too difficult for me to choose just one. 
Well, we've already chosen the other one, but I'm going to show both versions anyway. Miss Idia, you're my only hope. All right, then. You asked for me. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh, I would think you would have to go upstairs to use that. But, uh, yeah, why don't we uh, take a moment here? I'm at a la 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 loss. Someone help me, 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 me. No. But, yeah, that was quite a bit to sit through there. So, how about we, uh, save one more time and then come back down here to continue onward. All the preparations are made. I think I've disabled autosave, but I'll double check that. At least I didn't see the autosave icon there. Good, good. We got that off. Let us be off then, or, well, back down here. So yeah, they got two side quests that we can do here at Florum, but I just wanted to start with this one since it's quicker to initiate. Two wishes, one me, me, me. Tell me what to do. Such is my plea. Such is his plea. Ha <laughs> ha. Praline's arrangement is probably what her fans, pretty much everyone in the world, want to hear. Who are we to oppose that? Unfortunately. And yet, we know what Archipella wanted, and Praline isn't it. Mm. Not even close. So, do we refuse her and honor the Bard's wishes? Sure, why not? What's the right answer? What advice should I give Raka? But, uh, okay, so, let's see. Uh, first... Let's see, so we've already got the pirate asterisk, so against my better judgment, I'm going to give Praline the rights to the song. So that way I can just show the upgraded version here. Your grandfather's last song should be remixed and performed by Praline Alamode. If you say so. Now, how much longer do I need to wait here? I have songs to compose. Well, it could take forever for the ship to get over here. Barbarossa's lackeys in town are probably trying to contact him as we speak. Well, I mean, it's still daytime, though. I mean, they're like ghosts or zombies, right? Even if he steers the funky Francisca here as quick as he can, it would take at least uh, five days? A couple of weeks, maybe? Mm, maybe not. Huh? Uh-oh. The song? But how? How did he get here so quickly? Ye scurvy fools! What's this bilge water you're spouting? What's bilge water anyway? I just happened to have run my ship aground and just happened to send one of me boys into the city. Uh-oh. Where he just happened to overhear your little announcement and report it back to me. You expect me to take this lion down? Well, we already beat you before. Yes, yes, what a coincidence. Hmm. Look, I already know what you want to say. What? You, you do? Well, what kind of foul sorcery is this? Hmm? Oh, we've played this JRPG before. You think that Archipelago's last song should be passed along to a real man of the sea. To be sung out upon the waves, like the bard wanted. Something like that. And there's no way that annoying little slip of a diva should get her grubby, girly fingers on it. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Ahoy, it is! So you're savvy after all! Gar! But that doesn't change anything. I'm still going to let Praline use the song for her own arrangement. Yeah, let's see what moves you got this time around. Look, I know how important that song is. And I get that it was meant to capture the glory of the brave men who live at sea. Sure. Dedicated to all who understand the mysteries of the sea and the hearts of the men who sail it. That was Archipelago's message. It was? But I remember something else the great bard once said. That's right. The most important thing is to have fun. I highly doubt the song would be fun for anyone but Praline. After Archipelago had taught all of his secrets to his pupils, 
That was the idea that he cherished most in his final years. Well, yeah, we were, uh, well, we got the baton or whatever it was. The one thing he really wanted was for his music to bring people together so they could just enjoy themselves. But it's Praline. Praline used to use her music for evil, but she's learned her lesson. She's ready to live true to that ideal now. I don't think I'd trust anything, she says. Uh, she is? <laughs> she better be. <laughs> Look, I'm not averse to having a little fun. Just ask me mates here. Yeah, Tiz is the best. <laughs> But I'll never accept the ridiculous lyrics she put to that glorious sea shanty. They're an insult to every captain, living and dead. They're an insult to everyone. I can forgive some things, but this is a plank too far. But, uh, yeah, why don't we, uh, take him on again? Get your angry face ready, Adia. <laughs> Parley was for nothing, eh? Too bad. Me mateys and I will show you just how wrong you are. Will it involve violence? Let's teach this little girl and her scurvy friends what a man's dreams are worth. Come on, boys! It does! For boss time! I ran away from home at 15 and took to the seas with a stolen galley. I braved waves great and small to reach the Sea of Corsairs. What? Hefting my axe on my shoulder, I battled my way to the top. Until I, Hayridden Barbarossa, was named Vice Captain of the Eternian Black Blades. The Vice Captain? I'm the only one here who can sing that song with the heart and spirit of one who's lived it. Well, you got me on that one. But, uh, okay, so, let's see, with you, well, we've already examined all of these guys, and, yeah, Meteor will deal more damage than any elemental spell, so we'll just go with that for him. Let's see, with Idea, though, let's have her, I'm just thinking if I want her to use Trample on, on the two other guys, what's my speed look like here? Okay, so Magnolia is going to uh, act before Idea, most likely. So we'll just go all out on Barbarossa there. Now with Magnolia, let's see. Okay, so hmm, maybe I could change up the weapons a little bit. I want to have, uh, I don't know that it really matters, but I have Rods of Fire, so that way I could use... Yeah, bomb arms on the Death Pirates. Wipe all of them out. And then, let's see, with Tiz. Let's, oh, no, I need to use a uh, Soaring Falcon first. Then Falcon Claw and Mimic. That ought to be good. Unless Tiz decides to act before Magnolia for some reason. Not that it'll really matter. Hmm. I, I sometimes wonder if... Him being in Falcon stands, if the game somehow already takes that into account in advance of it actually being there as far as determining turn order, I don't think so. Oh, what was that? Oh, I thought I saw something proc for Barbarossa. I can, I can still sing. <laughs> Not anymore. But, all right, got him. Would have been nice if I got some more bomb arms, but no, no. This is all we got. No, oh, so a man's dreams have come to this. Well, now you can be a ghost, just like your, uh, yeah, your buddies. Well, if it isn't crusty old Captain Barbarossa. Uh-oh, I know that voice, unfortunately. Like you don't know. 
He came barreling in to protest your arrangement of that song, of course. Who could blame him? I know. I pretty much heard all of it from that mic of yours. <laughs> I cut my rehearsal short just to come here, you know. You see, like, it seems there's been a big old misunderstanding. I don't think I've misunderstood your intentions. A misunderstanding? Insult to all captains living and dead. <laughs> Why have you even listened to my song? I didn't think uh, you ha had it yet. Why, why, of course I, I mean, why should I have to? Heard one, heard them all. all kind of blah, 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 blah. Uh, you didn't answer the question. You just kind of trailed off. Wait a minute. You threw this huge fuss and you haven't even heard her song? Well, she hadn't had the rights to it yet. Oh, Captain, my Captain, won't you listen to my song? I'll sing it just for you. Oh, no. We're holding rehearsal anyway. Run, <laughs> hand me, wench. You don't have a choice. Run! Run while you still can! To think that salty old sea shanty could be transformed into this frothy thing. Yeah. Why, me muscles just seem to be moving on their own. F -f 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 Fancy that! Uh, it's too late for him. What did I say, Captain? I'm having a time of my life. Oh, and I never felt this way before. <laughs> Well, it certainly is a unique experience. I guess we can call this a happy ending. Sure, why not? I knew Barbarossa would put up a fight, but to think he hadn't even listened to Praline's song. I mean, he, he knew she was trouble from the beginning. Why, he's a dancing machine! Look at him go! You dancing fool! I know we should have honored our Capella's wishes, but we were lucky enough to know that the Bard had changed in his last years. We did? Your hearts are as one. The most important thing is to have fun. The Grand Ship may have been written for true men of the sea like Barbarossa, but thanks to Praline's remix, now it's a song that everyone can enjoy. Some would say that's not an improvement. Just might have made the right call. No, no. I too have no ray, 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 ray regrets. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting into it. Better get out while you still can, Tiz. But uh, all right. So we got all that out of the way. What else we got going on? Oh. Oh, I guess talking to her starts the song up again or something like that. No, no, I, I don't want you guys to go wild again. But, uh, who's the guy in the back there? I can't even see it. Oh, that, w oh, that was Barbarossa. For some reason, I thought, uh, he was further up front there. But, well... You're a zombie. Being on fire would be a problem. Okay, phew, thank goodness it's all over. But <laughs> we survived. But uh, yeah, why don't we uh, undo that? So that way we can pick up the performer asterisk. Where the setup I've created is all set and ready to go. And hopefully everyone will take their turns in the proper order. But who knows? But, uh, yeah, let's get up here and take the option that I really wanted to from the beginning. Your grandfather's song belongs to the brave men of the sea. You can't just let Praline butcher it. You sure went and said it, Idia. Oh, and I think it did the trick. Already? Here she comes. Oh, no. Not that music. Isn't that a little stupid, even for you, Idia? No, not really. 
throwing stupid insults in that stupidly loud voice of yours. Are you trying to hurt my image? I wouldn't have to do that. You're you do just a good job of that on your own. If you knees push me too far, I might just beat you to death with my adorable custom mic. What is that? Like some kind of a rod or something? She's not even trying to hide her murderous impulses anymore. Hmm. I think she's really lost it. Just now? How did I know this was gonna happen? Lost it? I haven't lost a thing! I never lose it! My act is perfect. Then you don't need the song! Look, I get why you think you should be allowed to use the song. Money! No matter how famous our capeller might have been, he's dead and gone now. His songs are old-fashioned and will never be big hits again. Well, they were for you. You're the one the world loves nowadays. So why not recreate that song as something people today will be able to enjoy? Idiot! You're smarter than you look. So if you get it, why aren't you on my side? I have a grudge. You always bully me. Kylie's gonna cry. Good. Fake tears. If we don't wrap things up here, you'll miss the rest of your rehearsal. Oh, um, well, that would be a good thing too. That's true. <laughs> Enough to chat then. I guess it's showtime. I'm gonna wipe the stage with you, Rose. Well, we're not on your stage. But uh, yeah, yeah. Angry face. Show me your angry face. Defeat me again? Yep. Idiot, you're even dumber than you look. Speak for yourself. Okay, places, everyone. This is no rehearsal. We're going to make this idiot change her tune. For boss time. Rayleigh here. All eyes on me. Thank you. I'll give you the show of your life. Or deaths. But, uh, okay, so yeah, we got a lot of new enemies here. I think most of them are weak to lightning. Yeah, yeah they're all weak to lightning, except Praline herself, but that's okay. But, alright, so let's see. You is going to be pretty slow. But Meteor will get the job done. Let's see, with Idea, let's have her just go straight at... Praline, Magnolia, she can examine all of them with magnifying glass, since I have items for all equipped on her still. And then if we go with three Pantheon's Wraths, that should be enough to get the job done. And let's see, with Tiz, man, he really shouldn't be able to act before Magnolia. Hopefully the RNG got mixed up a little bit here. Okay, good, good. We got that this time around. So yeah, even though you only see the one, it examines all of them. And we can access their stats if we really wanted. Well, at least we got a waste not proc there. Not bad, not bad. How much you got left there? Oh, looks like we're going to have a meteor shower soon. Celebrate. Destroying this song. Ha oh, ha. Oh, and we'll never have to listen to that song again. Or her voice. And not that I really need a star pendant. But for defeating her, we get. The Performer Asterisk, which can be a little useful for you, at least. And I'll show you why after this. But all right, she was easy enough. You're just so mean, idiot. How can you be such a bully? Ha ha. Everyone's supposed to love me. Why doesn't everyone love me? Your voice would be a start. 
Though a lot of people would say that about me too. Hmm. <laughs> Your crocodile tears are as wearying as ever, Praline. Indeed. <sighs> now look who's here. Why don't you like, I don't know, uh, invite her to join your crew or something. Captain Barbarossa? Whatever are you doing here? I mean, she's got to get around for her world tour somehow. I know. You've come to laugh at poor Praline when she's down, haven't you? Yep. Uh -huh. Well, go on. Laugh away. <laughs> Look at that ugly red mug. Hey, those are the first real tears I've seen from you. Um, well, yeah, I guess you two used to work together in the first game. Or the first since you joined the Black Blades. Remember that day? <laughs> Don't you bring that up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wipe your tears, girly. I'm here just for you today. Off with her head! This is for you. Hmm? Oh. What's that? What's this? A commission? What's a commission? That's right. We held a vote at the last gathering of the Sailors Alliance. And the members unanimously decided to support you. To do what? The Alliance will give your arrangement... It's blessing. Uh, that's not what we decided. What? Seems like you've got plenty of fans, lass. Even among the men of the sea. <laughs> oh, no. C Captain! There's no escape! Aye, there's just one stipulation. Huh? I've booked a stage nearby. You're coming with me, Praline. Um, good. Take her away, please. Aye, aye, Captain. So, where are you two going? We of the Sailors Alliance give our blessing to the new lyrics you've written. And even that odd new rhythm you use. However, we must object to that... Choreography. I think that's the least of her problems. The choreography? First, you start by giving them the hand. Your head cocked to the side with just a hint of coy refusal. Okay. Yes, sir! Then, as you let your hand fall, gather it into a fist. And squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. Like this? That's it. And don't forget it. Uh, is that it? After that, release your fist and raise your hand to the spotlight again. I guess wonders never cease. He's actually fine with the new arrangement and lyrics. Even though we just kicked their ass anyway. And the choreography is the only issue? Who are these men of the sea and what are they thinking? I don't want to know at this point. I guess soul's well that ends well? Something like that. Yeah. Praline's dream came true. And with the blessing of the sailors to whom Archipeller dedicated his last song. I never expected things to end up like this. But I do feel confident about my choice this time. I don't. And you should. Barbarossa and his men of the sea, Praline and the young people of the world. Just look at their smiles. And I bet Archipeller is smiling down on us too. I highly doubt that. Hey, look! Even Rockefeller is getting into the act. Oh no. <laughs> he sure is. So. I think Yeah. I, I think you do, lass. Yo -ho -ho -ho. Well, as long as you guys are happy, sort of. What else do we got? 
You're not gonna, like, go wild or something? No, I guess not. You guys all say the same thing? Apparently. Well, as long as you're happy and you leave us out of it, I'm happy too. But, uh, okay, so that's everything we got there. So with the performer asterisk, let's see, I would like you to use it for just one battle. In order to learn, let's see, I think it was, yeah, one more for you there. So that way, he could use that to pass on BP instead of... Uh, what, instead of using Vigor Tonic, so that way I don't have to spend more of those resources there. There is also the My Hero song, though with just that alone, you don't really get... Uh, like, you still basically... Uh, what is it? You lose a lot of BP all at once there. And I don't think it's a net gain unless you got Mimic there. And I don't need that for Tiz because I can already win almost every boss fight in one round anyway. So, yeah, I would not bother with that. I just want to get the, the one ability there for you. And then we'll get him back to being uh, a wizard there. Okay, so, let's see, I had him as a wizard there before. Where'd it go? Ah, there you are. I want to save this boss setup since I made some adjustments to it recently. But then I want to get back to the normal setup. And before heading or er, going off on the next side quest, I want to do a little more Chump Craft. There's one more song that I would like to unlock while I am getting uh, the next or the last tool upgrade there. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so, yeah, max out the glue there, and then, let's see, okay, so with the, yeah, let's see, with the stuffing there, we have 80 seconds of time on that, so let's let that get down to, like, 8 seconds, max that one out, get down to about, like, 5 or 6 seconds, max that out, max out the scissors there, and we should be good. Now, in order to unlock the song that I want, I need to have between 90 and 100,000 CP sold from a tray. But I'm not going to get that on the first one. So I'm just maxing everything out. But eventually, I will want to run out the timer on the stuffing and only use like five levels worth of the scissors there. Oh, wow, we maxed that out really fast. But I think I'm just going to let this keep going anyway. I'm surprised we're getting so many pink and red chomps there. But I'll just fill this out just to get as much CP as I can out of it. Wait for it pending. There we go. Okay, so... At this point, let's see, I'm going to wait until the stuffing would run out in the current cycle, and then I'll activate snack time and see what we can get out of that. I'll just sell whatever I get from this tray. Oh, wow. Lots of good stuff there. Okay, so the stuffing wears out. And then, okay, so I'm going to need to upgrade the glue pretty quickly here. Actually, let's just wait for it to, yeah, go like that. And then I think we'll be good. Okay, get one cycle there. Well, hopefully I can get, uh, what is it, more, or well, yeah, yeah. Hopefully I can still get a few cycles out of it. Oh, max that out real quick. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so let's see what I've got out of this tray so far here. 
So let's see, I've got seven green, three blue, two silver, four gold, three red, and one pink. And then with that one, yeah, we've got a really big bonus. Uh, triple tricolor. And that one, I think, is a little too much. So I'll just sell it as is right now. And yeah, we're just a little over 100,000. If I need to, I could curb the usage of the scissors a little more. But I want to see what I get out of each of these trays here. Okay, so five green, five blue, two silver, four gold, three red, one pink. Okay, and yeah, I think we're basically in the same spot again here. We keep on getting these massive bonuses that are just way too much. But we'll go one more try here. Hopefully I can get this off in time. Okay, good, good. Okay, so with this one, let's see. Okay, seven green. Let's see. Eight blue. One silver, no gold. Three red, one pink. And let's see. Yeah, this is going to be... Well, actually, this might be good enough. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, this will do. This will do. Do that. And all oh, right, there we go. Got the last song that I think I can do unlock for quite some time actually so now we can max out the stuffing and the scissors there while we're at it why not and just try to fill up the stack gauge there and let's see okay so yeah i still need to get quite a bit of cp in order to unlock the last stuffing upgrade there so we'll just fill this one up Man, we're getting a lot of pink from uh, these ones. Why don't we uh, use that new song that we unlocked there? Yeah, there we go. Now that's a rocking beat. But, uh, okay, so with this... Yeah, why don't we uh, just let everything run out here? Okay, so... A few of the tools are going to uh, expire soon. So, yeah, why don't we just wait on this? Okay, we get all that, and I think we're good. Okay, then just wait for the time to get down to six seconds. Yeah, we got plenty of time on the stuffing there. To last at least through this cycle, anyway. Okay, so we get that. Oh, wow. We're going to get a lot here. Wow. Triple quad color. That's the biggest bonus you can get. Okay, so with that, I'm just thinking when I want to start the stuffing upgrade there. I think we'll be fine whatever I do. Get that one. Max it out. And let's see. There's also some other upgrades that I can get here. So let's, let's see what we got after uh, snack time, that is, get through all this. We've got more than enough money. There is one other thing that we can unlock other than all the tools now that we've gotten them maxed out there. And that is the CP exchange rate, where if you go to Chompshire, you can... Uh, exchange your CP for some amount of uh, peg, that is, depending on how far you've unlocked it. So let's get this one. Just keep on upgrading those. So now 100 CP is another peg there. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, I think that's everything that I'm going to be doing here for quite some time. So I think a lot of the songs that are left are only unlockable after beating the game or they're like relatively late game songs. So yeah, we've still got a bit of a ways to go because I've unlocked or I've gotten well over 100,000 CP, but I can't unlock any of those songs right now. So yeah, we're going to be taking a bit of a hiatus from 
Chomp Craft for a while. For now, though, let's see what's going on over here. What do you mean? Oh, okay, well, yeah, they're uh, doing their thing, I guess. What's the meaning of this? Everyone knows that rice porridge is the only way to properly wrap up a meal. What does that have to do with anything? I understand your frustration, ma'am. That said, I've never seen someone have rice porridge to wrap up a meal of fried rice. What is porridge, anyway? I mean, I know it's like some kind of food, but other than that, I, I have no idea. Oh, Prima! Hasn't anyone ever taught you to think outside the... Hmm. Uh-oh. You! Uh, yes, you there! What about it? Yes, yes, yes! Let's sip those lips, shall we? I think we all know what I'm thinking. You do, don't you, dear? I wish I didn't. Yes, ma'am. Miss Lee, you have just been named as Florum's Interim Superintendent of Education. Congratulations. My condolences. Here we go again. Hmm. It's an honor. Something like that. Superintendent Lee. Your task is to decide whether the new academy set to open in Florum should be co-educational or not. Oh, I thought you guys were talking about porridge this time around, but that too. The supporters of a co-educational school are led by Mr. Sweaty Tracksuit and his patron, one Barris Lair. Oh, we already uh, know about him at this point. Okay. The opposition is led by Ms. Rhea Veeling, with the support of Einheria Venus. Both sides are quite passionate about their positions. They are? The side you oppose will likely use force in an effort to change your mind. Well, if they try to use force, how is that going to change my mind? We'll be kind of dead. See that you are fully prepared, then come to the Western Hidden Village in the Twilight Ruins to render your final decision. Why do we need to go all the way over there? We didn't have to do that with uh, Praline. Just as annoyingly organized as ever. Mm. You have everything planned to a T, don't you? That's the idea. You're too kind. Yeah, sure. We'll be taking our leave then. Oh, don't worry. I know you can do this. I believe in you. <laughs> I wish you didn't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come along, Prima. We're off to the Twilight Ruins. Yes, ma'am. Why are you even going there, anyway? I don't know. But, uh, okay, so now, let's see. Okay, so with my setup here, let's see. I want you to go into Performer to learn the one song that I might remotely care about. And then, let's see, I'm, just, I'm not even going to change the setup at all. I'm just going to fight one quick battle outside, and that'll be it. Okay, so with Adia, let's see, I think I pretty much leave her alone here, going into the Twilight Ruins. We've got a whole bunch of new enemies over there, but we'll be fine. Okay, Magnolia, yeah, we got uh, no enemies strong against light or earth elemental damage, so we can leave her setup alone. But with Tiz, I'm going to actually get him started working on Ranger. Something that I wasn't planning on up to this point. But I think Multiburst could be better for him in some boss fights. But for now, we'll just give him Warfare to deal with the random battles. And then, let's see, I'll, well yeah, let's uh, get rid of everything here for the moment i thought about using knight in order to learn two-handed because it's really cheap to learn but there's not really much of a point i never use it myself i'm not gonna give tiz uh jp up because with a uh, rock storm we'll be able to fight so many consecutive battles that we won't ever uh, need jp up we will max out jp per battle anyway and you can't exceed 999 even with jp up so don't worry about it okay and then let's see no i don't use oh no i do use barrage on him 
Okay, I was thinking of something else. But uh, yeah, we don't use quad wield for him. He won't need that. He'll be able to hit max damage or nearly so easily enough. Okay, so for the setup, let's see. Seems weird seeing you in that outfit there. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, we'll just leave you alone there with Adia. What do we got? Okay, all of that. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe using the Flare Hatchet, but no, that's not for this dungeon. I'm thinking of uh, another dungeon around here eventually. Let's see, Magnolia, I believe we leave her alone, except for the Hermes Sandals. I would like to give that to her. And then with Tiz, we're going to have quite a... Well, maybe not a lot, but some enemies are going to be either a beast or undead. So I want to give him Artemis' bow, even though we do have a slightly stronger bow available there. But that's not strong against beasts. And then I want to give him the Kalikamard sword because there's a demon-type enemy. And that's the only creature type that he wouldn't otherwise be able to exploit. And then, let's see, let's give you the Venture Badge. I could also give him the Artisan Gloves, but it doesn't boost my physical attack power that much. So, yeah, I wouldn't bother with it. Okay, so we got all that. And then, what else? Oh, yeah, with the Ranger, in addition to Multiburst, which is what I really want, they also get access to a whole bunch of these Slayer abilities that exploit a creature type for more damage so i don't have to switch weapons around to do that but we don't have nearly as many of them as we did in the first game so i would rather have a trample available but i think we'll be fine with this yeah that ought to be good enough let's get out of here and head on over to the Twilight Ruins. Let's see, what's the... Uh, okay, yeah. Just wanted to make sure my uh, encounter rate was okay there. Or that I didn't accidentally bring it up. Although, I would like to bring up autosave. At least get that ready to go. Now, there are some new enemies that we could encounter around form on the overworld but i don't want to do that right now because we can find all of them in dungeons around form okay so now oh not attorney uh let's see around form what do we got okay twilight yeah the twilight ruins a little over to the west there so let's take a look around. No more treasures for us to find around here. Okay, so I should be able to get all the way to the end of this floor at the very least without fiddling around with any of those switches. There is no blue chest in the Twilight Ruins. So I'm not going to bother with that. But I am going to bother with some new enemies. Let's see, Dolahan. They are undead. They can inflict fear on you and instant death if you are afflicted with fear. I think it's called Phanatophobia, the, the ability that they've got. So, yeah, you want to take these guys out pretty quickly here. Okay, so with these guys, let's see. I think I want Tiz to take them out. But he would only be able to examine one of them. At least as far as being able to kill them. Because I think uh, Dolahan has quite a bit of HP there. But the Zauberer, I think we can one-shot. Okay, so yeah. Dolahan would require a few hits there. So how about... Yeah, how about we examine the Zauberer first. And then we'll uh, deal with the rest. Although, another thing I could do is use a Phoenix Down on Dolahan there. And then be able to examine both of them. 
Although, actually, no, no, we can, uh, we can do it this way. I'm just thinking, is it really worth it to do that? Or should I push my luck a little bit? Yeah, I'll push my luck. If it works, great. If not, then, well, this will be a quick fight, won't it? But, uh, okay, Phoenix down on Dullahan, and we can examine both of them. Although, I don't have my heart set on fighting a ton of consecutive battles with this one, because we're going to do so much examining. There we go. Nope! Oh, well. So, yeah, that can inflict fear on your party members there. But, uh, oh, well. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay, why don't we just have Magnolia do the job, then? Let's uh, try that one again there. But at least we got both of them examined there. And yeah, we got you finished up there. Okay, we got the song and a couple Slayer, a bit, or at least one Slayer ability for Tiz there. Yeah, and there's going to be an insect type enemy around here. So Bug Slayer will be pretty good there. Okay, so with you, now let's make him... Uh, into a wizard again, but this time with the singing secondary, so I don't have to use all the catnip for passing around BP. But I'm still going to use Catmancy for Idea and Magnolia because they use it for other things too, so we might as well just uh, leave that alone. And I've got so much money, it won't be a problem. But how are we going to settle the debate on co-education in the Twilight Ruins? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. This is the Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!